A Lake County man who built a labyrinth has now found himself lost in the twists and turns of zoning and community politics. Field TV's Mike Makowitz is in our newsroom with a story of a stone circle some neighbors feel is a new age nuisance. Mike, tell us all about it. Well, Monica, Neil Harris built this labyrinth out of 25 tons of field stones in the hopes of getting people closer to God. What happened instead is that he's managed to distance himself from his neighbors who aren't too thrilled about the idea of busloads of mystics communing with the cosmos at the end of their quiet cul-de-sac. Harris and his wife built the elaborate system of stone circles last year at their home in the River Glen subdivision. That's near Lake Barrington. He's a psychiatrist that specializes in relaxation techniques, and he believes that people can unwind if they wind their way through labyrinths. He also believes labyrinths are an ancient way of bringing people closer to God. He hoped to share that experience with hundreds of people, but that's where the problems began. You see, his neighbors weren't too concerned about how the Harris's landscaped their yard, but they didn't want the extra traffic, and Lake County officials ordered the maze closed to the public, since there's no parking allowed on the subdivision streets, and since what he's doing is essentially running an extension of his business from his home, a zoning violation. Harris says he just wanted to help people, and he's amazed at his neighbor's reaction. I let people know that that's what our intention was, that this is something that had been used by all different cultures and religions, um, and that it was a tool that could be of great benefit to them, and invited people to come. Um, what people construed from that, I, I, I can't even begin to imagine. Mr. Harris happens to live on a cul-de-sac. People normally live on a cul-de-sac because they like a nice, safe place for their children to play and not much through traffic. Now, the Harrises have decided that they're not going to fight to keep their labyrinth open. Instead, what they're going to do is move it to a Unitarian church in Elgin where they say everyone will be able to walk through it. The only problem, though, is they need to find volunteers to help them move 25 tons worth of rocks. Reporting for the newsroom, Mike Mack with CLTV News. Monica? Quite a load, Mike. Thanks for that story. Well, turning now to weather.